Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about dynamic data masking. So for this, I have created Azure SQL uh, Server as well as database. So if you remember the concept, uh, you know, for example, let's say you are accessing some credit card, you are filling your information. So you will be seeing some asterisk symbols before, right? And in the end, you can only see the four digits of your credit card. So how can we do that? So that is what we'll be doing in today's video, which is called as dynamic data masking concept. So initially I have created a server as well as database. Let me show you how this is done. Initially I have created my resource group, which you can create from here. So you can just click create and add the name. So that is done for you. So in this resource group, uh, click create and search for uh, Azure SQL and click uh, SQL, click create, click create single database. And uh, here make sure you add the name. So let's add MRT123 and sample server. Okay, I'm just uh, selecting the same one, but you can create a new uh, server here. So you can just select MRT123 and East US, use both SQL and uh, Azure AD authentication. So you can just give your name and uh, the relevant password. So once it is done, you can just click OK. So make sure you remember this password because whenever you are accessing your virtual machine, uh, you know, this database, you have to use these credentials uh, selecting, uh, you know, SQL authentication. So make sure you remember this. So let's go back. And uh, that is how I have created uh, uh, these resources. So once this is done, let's go to our uh, DB. Oh, one more thing, just a second. I just forgot that one. So let's go to Azure SQL. And you have to select a uh, sample data set. So in this, uh, you can see in the additional uh, settings, you have a uh, sample. So click OK. So uh, one more thing you can see here, the estimated cost is 477. So if I go back uh, in the basic section, uh, configure this one and select the basic, uh, you know, uh, DTU. So now I think it's $6, so which is uh, uh, economical for me. And uh, backup uh, storage, just leave it as default. And uh, database name, MRT123. Go back networking, I think everything is good. Security done. Additional settings, okay. So yeah, so that's it. Uh, so that is how you will be, uh, you know, selecting the sample data set. So you can access from your DB. So let me show you how that is done. Go back, select your DB. And here, uh, let me select that, where is it? Under security, you can see there is a dynamic data masking. So click that. And here you can see all the, you know, relevant columns in that database. So let's say I want to mask my last name or email address or phone number. You can, you can do that. Let's say if I add the phone number. So if you talk about dynamic data masking, so database helps to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive data by obfuscating it. So using this concept, the sensitive data is replaced with, uh, you know, asterisk symbols. So this particular concept allows uh, the users to create masking rules that uh, determine how sensitive the data is masked. And these rules can be applied uh, to columns in the tables or views that contains the sensitive data. So that is what the definition it is according to the docs. Let me add the, uh, the phone number and you can see there is a default uh, here or you can just select it and select accordingly. So if you select the email, you can select this one. So this is how your email will be shown whenever you are access uh, the information from the database. Or you can use the custom string. So I can just uh, show starting, uh, let's say, I just want to show you maybe starting two letters and uh, maybe ending three letters. And rest everything will be, you know, the asterisk symbols. So, that is how you can create your custom strings or uh, for example you can select you know uh, the email id and you can click the email id and select the email id section and that is done 
So you can see this format whenever you are uh, accessing your uh, email. So that is how you can use uh, the dynamic data masking. So in the previous video, I have shown you how to create uh, the SQL Server and uh, the VM through which you can access this database. So you can use similar concept to access this database and check whether you are uh, able to access the information, uh, you know, um, using this particular format, the masking format. So yeah, coming to this video, I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video, which is dynamic data masking. If you've liked the video, please click like button below and if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.